Let's call the June 6th bid board meeting to order. We have acknowledgement of a quorum. First item on the agenda is the approval of minutes from April 4th. Motion, motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Financial report, Jess. All right, good morning. Uh, the financial report is on page four of uh, the online packet. And you can see that we have had, I think, of note, um, additional investment interest. I was just talking with Larry in advance of this meeting that it's not necessarily reflected into the expenses. We didn't um, necessarily budget for investment interest. Um, and we probably will not do so next year since you did the uh, pretty large transfer of the fund balance to the reconstruction project. We won't have as much interest next year. So you can see that that's at 3851. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, our expenses have been mainly in marketing so far um, and they're they're going to continue to do so i did change our marketing budget from twenty thousand dollars to twenty three five since, since we received the three thousand five hundred dollar donation from the west bend area chamber of commerce to assist with the marketing plan uh, that we had presented back in march so other than that um, all of these expenses are as planned electricity costs um, lights and decorations is from january and then um, landscaping, the $2,300 encumbrance is the transfer over to um, Roots and Branches that you approved at our last meeting. So the only question I have just procedurally with the donation, because sure. I know when the council, when stuff gets donated to the city, the council has to approve it. Do yep. we have to do that at the bid level as well? I went to council with that donation. Okay, so they, yep. so, okay, all right. I'm looking for a motion. Motion. Oh, just one, just one, Let's have a just motion. And a, so let's do a motion, and then we'll do a, okay. we'll do discussion. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. Now we can have discussion. All right. I, I was just wondering if is is the bulk of the um, um, marketing expenses is that for signage and and uh, <clears throat> that particular. Uh, of much of it is for signage the majority is um, I do have a breakdown that I think we presented back in in March but it also includes digital advertising billboard advertising so I, there's about seven thousand dollars for billboard advertising throughout the entire summer um, we set aside some additional funding for later in the project um, that we could use to do a grand opening celebration do some promotion of that um, and some direct mailers or other you know, TV ads, things like that. So, thank you. Yep. Any other discussion? Not all in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Next item is Main Street Reconstruction Project Update. Sure. So Jerry, um, our site inspector, was planning to be here today, and I just received a text message that he's unable to attend. Um, so I apologize for that last-minute change. Um, but I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Just to let you know, in terms of the communication so far on Main Street, we have had our weekly phone calls every uh, Wednesday afternoon. Those continue. Uh, we don't have a high volume of callers that take um that go on the calls each week, but we do have a high volume of people who are uh, reviewing the recap email that also goes out every Wednesday. So we do um, put an email together that talks about what's what's taking place on the Riverwalk and Main Street and then what's to come for the weeks ahead. And it has links in there and contact information. So we have over 200 people who are receiving that every week. So, so I was the one that asked to have somebody from Dorner come and and really the reason I wanted them to come and it really I wanted Dorner so I'd like this to get passed on to them is from my perspective um, their people have been absolutely amazing to work with and I wanted to thank them for it whenever there's been an issue um, you know I go out find somebody and they immediately fix it last week they ripped up the crosswalk in front of our store went over talked to them and within 10 minutes they were over there with a skid loader flattening it out getting it so that people could cross the street um you know with the gas line coming into my building we talked to them they coordinated it when it wasn't going to impact our business same thing with the water so 
and I've been hearing some people out there saying, oh, they're doing all this stuff and they're not telling us and they're shutting our water and they're that. And it's like, if you communicate with them, they've been amazing. And uh, I just wanted to, me personally, wanted to thank them for what they're doing. It's been, from a business standpoint, it's been a disaster. Um, but they're doing everything they can to accommodate and help, and I truly appreciate it. I would say the same. I had the guests come into my building as well and very respectful, asking when I was going to have customers, make sure that they were going around my hours of appointments. Even, I mean, literally a guy running over to help me carry this huge thing of copy paper into my to my office building. Like, thank you. Like, because <laughs> I was walking on stones with heels, which we all know is never a good idea for Peggy Fisher. But it was, uh, it was very kind. And I, I think they're doing a fantastic job. Hell, I saw them delivering for the beer truck one day. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> put it on the, they put it in the bucket of the, of the uh, loader and hauled it over to the bar. So, yeah. Sure out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't drink any of it. <laughs> so, no, they've been fabulous. I agree. Yeah, I, beyond the two testimonials we've heard, I've gotten a couple of calls from people, and they mirror the same thing. The, the Dorner people have been outstanding. So kudos to Dorner. Yeah, absolutely. And make sure that that gets to them because, and I've talked to Max about this as well and told him to tell him. So, um, you know, I've, I've not seen Todd Dorner down. He was in the beginning, but I haven't seen him since. But if I see him, I would say it to his face. And that's what I really wanted to do. We have an internal meeting each week with um, departments who are involved with the project and and he is there so I'll make sure that he gets this information thanks um, I would like to see if there's some way we can I know the bid bought and we got money in the marketing for signage but I think we need to come up with some better ways because people are still especially my customers and I'm working on some ideas but people are getting they're just very confused of where to go and what to do um, and they're calling us and some are calling and some are just calling and saying, I'm not coming through this and others are calling and saying help. So I think the, the marketing group should, I, I know we got a meeting coming up, I don't remember what it is, but we need to do something to get some better signage and figure out how to get that signage more visible um, because people are, are struggling with it. Are you saying like they're, that the downtown is open or how they to get there? They know it's open, but once they get there, they can't figure out where to park. And then once they park, they can't figure out what's going to be the best way to get to the street. Okay. So I know we talked about QR codes. We talked about other stuff, but they're, they're strong. And, and I'm hearing it, you know, from others. I've been kind of walking up and down the street and, you know, businesses have been just to see how people are doing. And everybody's kind of saying the same thing, at least in our center part. Because I think ours is a little more complicated. That you know, the, I've talked to some people that are closer to Hickory, and it's like, oh yeah, they just park on Hickory and walk right in, and it's real easy. But it's getting from some of them. They end up in the ten, in the Walnut parking lot, and then they're like, okay, now what's the safest way to get from here to there? Um, and even the the crosswalks. I think, and I brought this up in the marketing meeting, if we could do something different than just an orange circle that says pedestrian walkway that you really don't read, um, I think that would be helpful. Yeah, we did bring that to their, we brought that to their attention after our last marketing meeting and offered to create some new signs. So um, so we should be seeing some new signs out there okay. soon. Yeah, I think that's the biggest issue that we just got to make sure the customers understand where to go and what to do. I don't know if anybody else has thoughts or comments, but that's that's the biggest. One. Tony, how's your how's everything at your end? Like, how are your customers doing okay getting in and out? Just the senior clients have the greatest challenge with the gravel, but okay, but we've coached them through it. Okay, so yeah, that's been be. that's been my issue too. So, I think the one doing the best is the bend because they're at night and they've been driving right in. Right. <laughs> so. And dropping people off and then. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can go right in there. Yeah. So maybe we need to have them do some work at night <laughs> so that during the day <laughs> we can get some of our businesses. Just one day, maybe suggest that. One day a week they work at night. <laughs> <laughs> What is, what's happening with your building, Tracy? How are your tenants doing? Tenants are complaining, but you know, it is what it, it is. is. The construction is the construction. Everybody's excited for it to be done, but you know. <coughs> That's the hard part is because, I mean, it, they've, co they've come a long way, but it still looks the same. So when people look outside and they say, well, when is this going to be done? And you say, oh, end of October. They're like, oh, man. You know, because it really doesn't look any different. You just keep seeing bigger things in the middle of the streets. So it looks like it's never going to get done. But they've done a lot already. Yeah. All right, well, if there's nothing else on that, we can move on to item three, which is Scott's landscaping contract. So we actually have two here. We usually um, up each year look at two. You'll see the difference is one is mainly for sidewalks and curbs in the downtown, and it has Main Street removed. Um, Scott estimated Main Street's approximately 30% of the work that he does typically because Sixth Avenue is the same length, and then he also does side streets downtown and other areas. So um, you can see that. And so this also removes from our previous estimates that were received back in March. It receives some, uh, or removes the months between then and now. So starting January, or January, June through October, um, we're looking at $3,000 for the cost of spraying sidewalks. Um, and then also the next one down is the monthly class to spray weeds and beds that have mulch in them. So we don't have a, a ton of beds up along 6th and on the side streets or on 5th, um, but this is what his approximation was um, for those projects. So it's completely up for your review and discussion, and he's happy to work with us however needed. I go back to last month when I said this. I, we don't have sidewalks. Like, I just don't. I, this is $5,000 that I feel we could spend um, in, a, in a better way this year. I mean, it's not that they do a bad job. It has nothing to do with that. It's just that we don't have an issue this year with the construction. I'd, I'd rather see this money go to something else and then have them come back next year when it's all done. Well, what do we do about 6th Avenue? How much have you looked? I have not no, looked. I, have, I just can't I, think that I haven't it's, looked, but it's still only early June, so... What are we going to have in July, then, then maybe we do it as needed and not a guaranteed June through October. I mean, I haven't, lo I haven't personally looked there, so I don't know what the need is. I don't want to not provide service for 6th Avenue, but I just don't know how necessary it is. Has anyone else oh. looked back there? or? So that we can get into this discussion legally, yeah, let's I'll make a motion to... Uh, accept the bid uh, from Scott's Landscaping. For both? Yes. And then we can, we'll, we if we get a, we second, a second, we can discuss it. I'll second. Okay, now we can discuss it. Uh, question. Uh, have we looked at getting an on-demand for both 6th Avenue, Main, for the, the area that they covered? In other words... Like an on-call? Like, uh, like, okay, we need, we need whatever. So and I so haven't looked at that. He comes every a, two weeks, and so he's kind of on just a regular schedule. This reflects what the work that he's been doing for the last number of years. Um, so it's the same cycle. Um, and we haven't had, at least to my knowledge, many issues. So that's typically a good thing. If we aren't hearing that there's a lot of weeds, then we would be hearing that. Um, we did recently do the downtown cleanup two weeks ago, and it was pretty messy up there on 6th Avenue. We did a lot of cleaning, and you know, I do want to thank everybody who helped with that and, and really cleaned up that area and all the beds, but I think there is a need to continue to spray down there. Well, and that's what I was going to say is, yeah, the Main Street's all tore up. He's taking out the 30% of that. I question if it's really 30%. I think it's more than that. But nothing has changed on the other streets from last year to this right. year. So why would we not do everything but Main Street? I totally agree. Anything from Walnut 
to Highway 33 on the Main Street corridor part is a waste of money. Mm -hmm. But sixth in the, in the side streets, that's where the bulk of our customers are gonna go now. Why do we want to not make that look as best we can um, moving forward for this year? <clears throat> and we did it the last, what, five years? And now all of a sudden, just because Main Street's tore up, we shouldn't do it? I don't think that's right. Hmm. It's not fair to businesses right. located yeah, elsewhere. On Main Street, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. <clears throat> But nothing on Main Street. No, the Main Street's out so, of here. Okay. Yep. Main Street's not even in it. He took that out already. If you were to approve it as is at this amount, you would still have seven thousand six hundred ninety-five dollars remaining in landscapes in landscaping for the year. So there could be some other expenses that you maybe um, put forward in the fall. We, could we? We could use that money then for. Uh, well, we could use for it for something. Christmas. We could use it for decorations if we want Christmas decorations if we wanted to. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, does Does Scott cover Settlers Park, or is that handled by the Parks Department? The Parks Department takes care of okay. Old Settlers Park. Any other discussion? Mm -hmm. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? All, All right. right. Opposed. Motion carries. Um, next item is marketing committee update. Uh, we had a meeting of the marketing committee, and I, I don't have the date handy, but we met like two weeks ago. Uh, we, we had a spirited discussion. Uh, there are, uh, I've, I've had some discussions with city staff and other elected officials um, about, about things that we might do to um, address some of the shortcomings with things like signage and so on. So, work is in progress. So, um, but all in all, the you know people uh, expressed that at the meeting that that things were tough, but the, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And since we don't have any train tracks anymore, I'm hopeful it's not a train. Yeah, might be temporary. <laughs> <laughs> That's a meeting, that's for another meeting. Any questions? Nope. Okay, item five, Christmas day. Oh, I guess I can't say that. Holiday decorations. <laughs> so we discussed putting this on the agenda um, because now is a good time to be planning for the holidays. Um, and with new lights being installed downtown, we thought we've we've looked in the past couple of years at potentially getting new garland for the street lights. Um, some of our garland is getting a little bit tired, or it's not working anymore with the lights. Um, so potentially looking at that, um, there there have been conversations about other types of decor. Also, adding decorations to the Riverwalk has come up in the past. So. This is really just an opportunity to discuss that interest. If you have interest in exploring um, any of those items, we can go to an RFP for it as well, or we can ask David J. Frank to come up with some ideas to look at and fit into our budget. Um, we'll also have some different needs for um, de decorations as we move forward with the Main Street project. Now that the trees have been mainly removed from landscaping, we won't have the lit trees in a couple of locations, but we will still have opportunities in Pocket Park and Old Settlers Park for that. Um, <clears throat> and so it may just look a little bit different this year with the install costs and um, some of the landscaping beds in the past have had some ornaments in, the one at Sal's Pizza in particular, and that that is going to be removed to have additional parking. So. It just seems like a good time to talk about our plan moving forward with holiday decorations. And just, I have started the conversation with, I haven't heard back from David J. Frank, but I did ask him to come up with some ideas, so we need to follow with that. And I've also started some communication with the group that helped do a bulk of the financing of what we currently have. Um, but I'm sure the same thing will come back is, okay, we're, we're willing to put in a, this amount of money, but we need some buy-in from the bid as well from the installation. And, um, you know, we did the light poles as the as the first round, so they'll probably 
want to do something like that. So I would propose that we get moving sooner than later um, so we can get some ideas because it also makes my job easier to go to these people and get funding. So what, one thing I, I think we should include in that is maybe reindeer. Pardon me? Reindeer. <laughs> well, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> No, I, I think that the alleys between the Riverwalk and Main Street should be addressed also, you know, just to connect the two. Like the bridges? Um, you know, the, the alleys between the, the buildings that they head down to uh, uh, the Riverwalk. I think that would be nice to it'd be more inviting, just bring them down there. So I think once the Riverwalk, you know, walking the Riverwalk right now, what part is done, I don't know what... I mean, there's gonna be light poles, but there's no real trees back there yet. There's, um, y you know, and the, and the one thing I guess we weren't real smart about is we didn't think about power. So I don't know what there is for power along the walkway and you could probably decorate the railings. There's power and they have the same lights that are going to be installed downtown. So the ones that have outlets within, within the poles, so. There's opportunities down there. I yeah, guess, with the poles. Or, yeah, with the poles. But I'm talking in other locations. It oh, may, sure. It may yeah. be a little more difficult, yep. but um, you know, I think I think it should be a clean slate, and you know, and yep. you could talk to David J. Frank and talk to that other company and see who comes up with the best ideas. Uh, another another uh, idea is there's going to be power in that circle on the north end, and you could put some natural trees in there and decorate those. It wouldn't be a big expense. You know, just something to think about. Are we gonna be adding five foot to the tree again this year? And the next, and, the next and move is- looked at the fact that eventually we'll add enough five feet that we will no longer have- Actually, Mark, the next, the next move is 14 feet and then it's done. Oh, okay. <laughs> it can only go to 50 feet. And the next, the next level is 14. Okay. So it's being looked at. I, I just, I, I heard that and I did a little math and I was thinking we'll eventually run out of old Settler's Park. <laughs> it, it actually, when we did it originally, we figured out if the 50 foot would fit in the park. So. Okay. It, it will fit. Are you planning on inviting Jack to come? <laughs> Jack. Jack and the Beanstalk. No. no, we're sending you to the top. I want to know who's putting the light on that baby. Yeah. I'll go put I'll go put the star on the top. I don't care. Um, okay, so Jess, you and I can we should start working on that right away. Sounds good. I like the idea of having maybe a couple of groups come in, present some ideas and concepts for you to consider. Um, all right, so July meeting. What's everybody's calendars look like with 4th of July? <laughs> I don't know why we can't meet on the 4th, but <laughs> we can just do it down at the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> right. We, we could have a float in the parade. We have Bloody Marys. Yeah, I don't drink, but I'll serve them. <laughs> so does the 11th work or staying in on a Tuesday or do we? I mean, the option is to move it <coughs> or cancel it. I would move it to the 11th. Question. I don't what, know about everybody else, but what all would be on the agenda for the July meeting? At this point, I don't know. Okay. I mean, we can always cancel the meeting if if there's not an adequate uh, amount of business right. to be done. But I mean, it sounds like we might have some action yet on the Christmas decorations and so on. So I would say leave it in, leave it rather than cancel it at this point and. If we need to cancel it before the meeting, uh, how does the eleventh work before for the fourth, like the third or? All right, let's just move. Is well, we can't have it here though because that's court day. Well, I'll work to try to get it here. They've been doing some court on Thursdays, so um, 
if it can't be here, then we'll probably work for the school district area, if that's okay with you. Okay. It seemed to work well last time. Yeah. All right. So Jess will confirm the location and, and that. And then uh, going to your question, any items anybody wants to have on the agenda that you know of right now, otherwise we're always available for suggestions and I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everybody.